of that old crone turning my two hunks into rats, well, Tabitha. <laughs> Honey, you owe me, and I'm coming to collect. <laughs> Honey, it's no wonder that Alistair couldn't resist me now. I'm not sure he could resist me now if I put my mind to living old times, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Wallace, you look so hot, Honey. Word is hot. And I feel it, too, because I got a bone here to pick with your buddy chum, Tabitha. You cost me two young, handsome men this evening. <laughs> now, of course, I see that there's an even cuter one standing right over here. Oh, honey. boy. Foxy, 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 foxy. <laughs> now, I know that you and Beth are related. But, honey, you know, you and I are not. <laughs> I... I'm going to leave you two alone. Yeah? I'm going to go check out where he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I that's probably need. Uh, I gotta go. I, I gotta. Wait. Oh. Hey there. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I I really I don't know what's got into her today. Oh, I do, honey. <laughs> He's got a certain, you know, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je ne sais what? Quoi? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you okay. then. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Okay, they can't hear us now. What is the idea of you setting me up with those two rats tonight? Oh dear, I was hoping you'd be finished with those two before midnight. Before... Tabitha, we were just getting warmed up, and then the two of them go scurrying out of the blue note like an exterminator walked in the door. I want the man you promised me, honey. Oh, Edna, you are so crass. Ah, well. All right, maybe I am crass, but I'm not a witch. Shh. You don't want me blowing your dark secret, Mr. You better be pulling some magic out of a hat right now, and I want you ripping me up something really tasty. <laughs> All right. We'll see what we can do, right? Okay. <laughs> this isn't quite what I had in mind, but it'll do until the real thing comes along. <gasps> I always had a soft spot in my heart for Dickie. Mm. Okay, not bad. I may just have to give up chin for these. <sighs> so glad you enjoyed it. Now, why don't we all call it a night? Oh, no way. No way, Tabitha, honey. The night is young and I still have to party, honey. <laughs> Well, you go ahead, oh. and Dora and I are going to bed. No problem, you and Andora hit the hay. Just leave me some entertainment, will ya? I mean, no offense here, Tabitha, but, honey, you are about as much fun as a wet noodle. <laughs> Honey, it is a good thing that she is leaving, because we uh, certainly don't want any curious Georges hanging around here for what we're going to be doing next, huh? No, oh, <laughs> put a sock in it, Edna. Haven't I granted you enough favors for one night? Uh, no, and not if you want me to keep your witchly secrets. Look, it's late. Endora uh, and I are tired. We are going to bed. We need our beauty sleep. Okay, be my guest just as soon as you produce Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt? You've got to be kidding. Do I look as if I am kidding? Now conjure him up for me now, honey. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I can conjure up a look-alike. Oh, no, I don't want a look-alike. I want Brad Pitt, the real deal with a cute tush. And don't you dare turn him into a rat like you did those other two men. <laughs> Tabitha. Honey, I want to be wined and dined and go to movie premieres on Brad's arm. I can't do that, Edna. Well, what a shame. It looks like I'm going to have to call the police and the Harmony Herald and tell them there's a bona fide witch in our midst and a baby witch. <laughs> you can threaten me all you like, but you leave my daughter out of this. Absolutely not. A deal is a deal. <laughs> Oh, 
This is gonna be bad. Oh, good grief, Endora. What have we set in motion here? I think it's time that I gave you that swimming lesson I promised you. <laughs> 